Hello, my name is Marcy Vanna, and I'm going to be presenting a lightning talk entitled University Libraries for R, Supporting R Users. I am presenting this talk on behalf of myself as well as my colleagues, Mazi Dukum and Doris Scott. The three of us are from Washington University in St. Louis. Mazi and I are from Becker Medical Library at the School of Medicine on the medical campus, and Doris Scott is from University Libraries on the main campus. Let me start with an overview of our presentation. I will begin with the motivation for our, our support and teaching, the types of teaching and support we provide. I'll go into some collaborations we've engaged in to expand our offerings, and lastly, touch on some examples of internal library use of R. So as far as our motivation for providing our support and teaching, we have really seen an increasing interest in and need for programming skills across our schools and campuses at Washington University. So this includes R as well as other programming uh, languages. Not everyone knows where to start, with some feeling quite intimidated actually. And the libraries are poised to meet this interest and need. The libraries support research and education as part of our mission, and educational programming and consultation services are well established in our libraries on a variety of topics. Libraries also have staff with technical knowledge and experience capable of teaching programming topics like R. So let me go further into the types of teaching and support we provide. So we provide in-person and virtual R workshops, and these workshops generally include a lecture component, a demo component, and hands-on activities where attendees can get some practice running our code, running into issues, troubleshooting difficulties. And we can walk around and help them um, or answer their questions in the chat box. As far as consultation services go, these are basically customized R help sessions for individuals and teams where people can come with their very specific R question and we can try to help them. We also hold special event R workshops and programming, and these are in association with special event weeks that we participate in, such as Love Data Week and Geography Awareness Week. So as far as the variety of topics we cover in our workshops and can support in our consultation services, these range from basic data exploration, cleaning and manipulation, to data visualization with R base and ggplot2, uh, making maps with R, as well as introductory bioconductor. So in addition to the topics I just mentioned, we've also engaged in very successful collaborations with additional groups on campus outside of our libraries to expand our offerings and mainly our workshop offerings. So one such example is a very successful collaboration we have had with the Center for High Performance Computing. And regarding R, we have collaborated on providing an R workshop covering the basics of using R on a computing cluster. In addition, we have very successful collaborations with our Institute for Informatics. And as far as R goes, we have partnered with them on workshops on genomic data analysis using Bioconductor, as well as associated visualizations of genomic data using ggplot2. We also um, have some examples of internal library use of R, one of those being library staff collaborating on faculty research projects. So this is beyond consultation services. This is a case where library staff are actually collaborators on their on the uh, research project, um, as well as um, library staff using R for data cleaning for internal library projects and tasks. So in conclusion, I'd like to share that our R workshops and consultation services have been very popular. Our workshops fill up very quickly and often have waiting lists. So as far as the next step, we are currently experimenting with recording the workshops to help meet the demand. So we'd like to acknowledge uh, our collaborators at the Center for High Performance Computing, Malcolm Tobias and Jing Wang, as well as at the Institute for Informatics. Uh, and there we've collaborated with Madhuri Makasho and Aditi Gupta. And again, these collaborations have been very successful um, and wonderful groups to work with. 
So lastly, I'd like to leave you with our contact information. Please feel free to reach out to myself or Mozzie or Doris. I've included our email addresses here on this slide, as well as our roles um, in our respective libraries. And lastly, I will leave you with the addresses of our library websites um, so you can check out more information if you are interested. Thank you very much.